I was talking to uh, your cast about this film, and I told everyone I'm not a film critic, but I really felt like uh, this was fantastic. Oh, oh thank you. Um, after finishing it all and seeing it with an audience, what are your thoughts? Um, well, relief. Uh, <laughs> people people seem to really like the movie and are engaged by the movie, and it's a fun movie to watch with an audience for the for the laughter and the, and the tears and everything else. But uh, yeah, you, 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 you know, when you get to the end of a movie, it's a long process. It's a year and a half of your life, and, and you're just, there's a sense of relief. You go, oh, I think I did it justice. So take me back a year and a half ago. What was it about this story that got your attention? It was two things. One, um, I didn't know any of the backstory. I, I, you know, I hadn't even read the books. I had seen the movie Mary Poppins, so I certainly didn't know about the, the tragic childhood of of P.L. Travers or any of that. Um, but two, it was a movie about the creative process and you rarely get to see those. And it's about the sweat and toil that goes into a finished product rather than just about the finished product. And that was appealing to me. I didn't know the backstory either. Like yeah. it's, it's really just a surprise. I was even surprised to hear that there were more than one book. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, <laughs> I didn't know. Who knew, yeah. Um, you have uh, Emma Thompson playing P.L. Travers, the woman who wrote Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. Why was Emma perfect, absolutely perfect for this role? Wow, this is just gonna be a, a long list of all the <laughs> things I love about Emma Thompson. I think she's so, so talented. And her ability to take on all aspects of a character, even when they're contradictory, is amazing to me. Also, her ability to draw you in just by being quiet and still. It's like the quieter and stiller she is and that big brain of hers is working, you just find yourself leaning forward, so I knew she'd be perfect. As a director, it's an art for you to know like those moments, those mm -hmm. quiet moments, and to use those. Because mm -hmm. so we're so used to a lot of talking going on in movies, mm -hmm. and it really is the quiet moments that kind of make it. Mm -hmm. And you also have Tom Hanks, playing the legendary Walt Disney. He was obviously the first choice for it, and I didn't, uh, I was worried if he said no, I wouldn't know what, where to go next, um, because I think he was absolutely perfect for it. Um, he's an icon playing an icon. He's bigger than life. Walt was bigger than life. Um, and also he's a student of the characters he plays, the real life characters he plays, and also a student of Walt. He's done a lot of research on Walt, and he did a whole lot more for this. The research that you guys did involved going back and listening to audio tapes mm -hmm. of the creative session where P.L. Travers was part of the event. What were those tapes like? They're, they're, there's a lot of them. They're long. Uh, sometimes they're mundane. Sometimes they're fascinating. Sometimes they're humorous. Uh, but the most important thing is you vibe the room. You can listen to the personalities in the room. Richard doing everything he can to make nice for everybody. He just wants everybody to get along. Robert, who you can just sense by the noises he makes in his throat or his deep breaths that he's gotten, he has some frustration with it. Don DeGrotti trying to be the adult in the room and make everybody get along. P.L. Travers is not necessarily known as a really likable woman, but in this movie, I do feel for her. Like, how did mm -hmm. you accomplish that? Well, one of the things you do is you cast Emma Thompson because I think that what she brings to a role, just her likability is, is, is obvious there. We all, we all love her. So even, no matter what she does, we're always going to go, yeah, but. Um, <laughs> so I think that helps a lot. I think also people don't have to be likable um, in movies. They need to be fascinating. And I think that, you know, she accomplished that in spades. Made in Hollywood.